What's going on everybody? It's Tommy Lamar, your resident filmmaker, and today we're going to do a vlog, something I rarely do, but hey, I figured I want to be more interactive with you guys, I want you guys more interactive with me, so let's do this, right? What about to head up the house, we're going to run the target. Let's go. Officially in the car and headed out. Um, just wanted to kind of talk to you guys through this vlog today. Sorry about the little movement. Oh, I got a little light. The honey put some light on me. Yes. Thank you. I think you forget about it. <laughs> Sunroofs. They're your best friend when we're recording. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys as far as being intentional. It's one of the things I dropped on my Instagram um, recently. Be intentional is really about owning your vision, owning your passion, owning your dreams, and going for what you want to go for to get there, you know? One of the things that I think I've always had, and definitely we've always had as creatives, is great foresight and forethought and passion in wanting to be creatives, wanting to really dive into our own endeavors. And the part we lacked in wasn't so much the being intentional part, but the intentional part of scheduling and planning is where we kind of really need to grow. And um, this past year, I've just been kind of refining that thought, that initiative, so that we can be more intentional and get shit done. That's really at the end of the day. You want to make sure you achieve your objectables, right? You want to make sure that you complete your projects and you want to have a really a great sense of fulfillment at the end of the day. Nothing sucks worse than knowing you want to do something, talk about doing it, but never getting it done. That's just some failing shit right there. We don't have time for that anymore in this life. You got to get it, get it quick. So being intentional is really taking the time to schedule, to plan, to do the things you need to do to meet your benchmarks and goals so that you don't have regrets, so that you're putting out the things that you want to put out creatively, you know? I'm gonna get off my soapbox for a second, but we'll be back with this conversation in a little bit. Let's grab some B-roll. There are so many decorative ideas in Target. It's just sickening, so many. Look at it. All right, guys, I'm back. So, hopefully that last file made it. If not, oh well. If it did, you won't even be seeing this part right here because I'll cut this little speech out. Because <laughs> I was in the middle of trying to say something while the camera battery was flashing at me and somebody was messing with the radio volume because they didn't like the fact that I kept turning it down and she just went to press mute. Right there. Yeah. So, anyway. Target's over and done. There's Target right there. Walked around. Didn't shoot much next except the one clip. But it's okay. We're just vlogging today, right? We're just vlogging. If I can remember to look at the camera on the phone screen. And not myself. Anyway. So, heading out to our next destination. We're deciding where that is going to be. And I guess you'll see it when we arrive. Do a slow, let's go. And yes, now we're at Earth Fair. So Earth Fair is closing, and if you can see behind me, there's a lot of empty shelves. It's empty stuff everywhere. They actually have the store blocked off in certain places. They don't want you to go because they're closing. It's just the end of another big box type store era. What will the future be for places like this, where you go to get your shopping? 
uh, even the Best Buy in my area closed. So just kind of where we live in nowadays. What's going on guys? Just uh, take, take a look at the sky real quick. Isn't that just beautiful? We look for pictures like that. Pictures of inspiration, pictures of beauty, things that inspire us. I just wanted to share that real quick. So yeah, we hit a couple other stores, hit Marshalls, nothing was going on there. And as you saw with Air Fred, that was kind of, eh, eh, well, they're going out of business. But the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about was being on time. I also talked about that in my Instagram, and that's like a pet peeve of mine, being on time. It's so important to me. When I'm out on time, I literally beat myself up about it. I hate it. And I'm always trying to be early. I will be up to an hour early to a place if I know that something's going on or it's an event. It's just something I live by. And you know how they do us. If you're an African-American person, they want to say CP time. But you know what? It's a myth. Being on time is a people issue, not a race issue. So if there's anything that you really want to focus on in 2020, being intentional and being on time. We'll call it for right now because we're still rolling around driving and we got a few more things to do. Let's go. All right, so we're back at the house. Had a great day out, just running some errands, doing some stuff. I actually have my uh, G7 here with the Super Taco Mar 50 millimeter. Uh, I'm going to do a review on this lens because I think if you can find it, this is definitely a lens you want to have for Micro Four Thirds. It's an awesome lens. It does. <laughs> In the review, you'll see. So what I have going on, what's coming up? Um, as far as real actual video content things I'm going to do, again, the, the lens. Um, I'm going to do a uh, kind of a, not just a review, but a whole, is the G85 even worth having in 2020? Uh, kind of like I did the G7 in low light. Was that worth using in 2020? Um, we're going to do some versus comparisons with the G85 and the G7. I'm going to explain to you why I have two G7s and a G85 and talk about one of the big things of why I haven't actually gone to a cinema camera yet. I mean, there's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of cinema cameras out there. And when I make that jump, there's certain things that I just want to make sure in place before I make that jump. Oh man, what else is going on? Jeez, so much, so freaking much. Uh, have you been to the website? TommyLamar.media, guys, check it out, please. Um, gosh, whoo, merch is coming. Um, I want to show you some of my original uh, video film shoots that I have coming up. I'm going to take you on some of the journeys with me for that stuff so that you can see my behind the scenes on it. I'm going to be releasing some actual pilot shows uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of between 6 and 10 episodes uh, per show. Um, they'll probably be on YouTube. I might move around, maybe try to get them on Facebook Watch or other places, but I want it to be interesting enough that you guys will actually want to watch it and not just some whack content that's not interesting so you know yeah there are a lot of shows out there there's a lot of people doing shows on YouTube but the thing that always gets me is that even with the comedy that people do on YouTube the quality a lot of the time isn't there and I want to show you guys that you can have quality with these great mirrorless cameras and not compromise that and still tell good stories with great lighting still tell good stories with these lenses you know yeah you can move into cinema lenses and so forth and I've used cinema lenses um, as well as uh, cinema cameras but I love these because of price they shoot 4k there's a lot of benefits so we're just gonna talk about a lot of different things coming up over the next couple of months on this channel you guys stick with me I appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you for following. Please continue to follow. Hey, please leave comments in the comments if you have questions. If you want to know a few things about why I use Panasonic and I'm not using Canon or other cameras out there. I mean, I'll give you my honest opinions on it. And we're just going to be a lot more interactive this year as far as vlogs alone. I'm going to try to separate out a few playlists where I just have reviews. I just have vlogs. I just have, you know, uh, my film inspiration stuff. And... We're just going to go from there and just create some great content going forward. I really appreciate you guys. As always, subscribe, hit the like bell. Hey, did I say that right? Subscribe, hit the like bell. I'm sorry, that wasn't right. Subscribe, 
hit the like button and please ring that notification bell i want you all to know when i drop new videos so you can watch them fresh content tommy lamar Th that's me tommy lamar all right anyway whew, so much you know what i think it's time to get something to drink and maybe eat you, you guys do okay yeah Let's go!